So uh, friends, uh, let, let's get started today. Uh, it, it's uh, already one, one uh, two uh, p.m. CST for us. As, as scheduled, we have this uh, webinar for today. So let me introduce myself. I'm I'm Vikas, working as uh, the uh, IBM uh, uh, senior sales uh, manager uh, for for sales. And uh, you know we have uh, Praveen Changini who would be uh, you know heading this uh, presentation today for us. Uh, in fact, uh, Praveen carries about 15 years experience and in, in the IT industry with uh, deep experience in BPM and BMS, uh, including. Uh, various other uh, faucets for BPM and uh, also uh, business process modeling, design and integration and workflow automation. Well, in fact, I should say it's been uh, uh, about a couple of months that I got introduced to Praveen, but uh, I, I, I should say something, uh, the kind of an, uh, person he is, he is, he is very passionate about, uh, you know, uh, helping out uh, customers in, in their needs. If, if there is any kind of a support that a customer is looking in for, uh, mainly on uh, you know uh, reaching their uh, goals on BPM and any other related, IT related uh, stuff. So uh, in fact, Praveen uh, uh, completed his bachelor's degree in computer science from Western Illinois University. So Praveen, I, I leave the floor for you. Uh, uh, you know we have a beautiful audience out there. Uh, I, I guess everyone had a, a good lunch, and uh, they they are excited to learn more about uh, uh, today's session. So uh, the floor is all yours. And audience, uh, we'll leave the floor for question and answer session at the end. Uh, but however, if you if you uh, have any questions, please do make a note of it. Uh, we can probably look at it uh, at the end of the session. Um, sorry about that. I'm, I apologize if we're experiencing technical difficulties, but hopefully everybody can hear me. And as I was saying, we um, we offer end-to-end -end IT solutions, strategic technology consulting, product development, and advisory services in the areas of um, social, mobile, analytics, and cloud, uh, as well as ERP, BPM, IoT, and API economy. <clears throat> That's Kelton Tech founded in 1993, so we're over two decades in, in age. Kelton Tech is a premier IBM business partner, um, a Microsoft Gold certified partner, uh, software AG partner, uh, as well as most recently a MuleSoft partner. And uh, Kelton Tech is a publicly listed company, and we are on India's largest stock exchange, uh, BSE. Um, we are ISO 9001 and CMMI level three certified. Um, most recently, Kelton Tech has been recognized uh, as quote an emerging IT company of the year uh, end quote. And we were also recently awarded by Deloitte the India Fast 50, uh, which is a prestigious award for being a best in class technology provider. So just some fun factoids about who we are as an organization. And as you you know you can tell based on our accreditations and awards, we pride ourselves in being on the leading frontier of technology and providing the best in class solutions and services to our customers all over the world. Uh, in terms of um, the organization uh, and how we are structured, um, we are essentially broken into three uh, core business units a digital transformation business unit, which you can see on, in the picture on the right. Uh, the second one being the digital connected enterprise business unit and the enterprise solutions SAP business unit. So today's webinar is actually sponsored by the digital connected enterprise business unit, um, and I belong to that uh, business unit. So um, just also would like to quickly give you a glance um, of some of our brand customers. Uh, we have lots more customers, but it's always hard to squeeze uh, various customers in, in one slide. So we wanted to try and make sure that we showcase at least um, from a, an industry point of view who our, our, our customers are. Moving on, um, one of the things that we we provide to our customers, uh, as I mentioned, an end-to-end -end IT solutions 
portfolio is <coughs> digital transformation and enterprise architecture strategy, uh, API, services-oriented architecture, ESP core applications, um, BPM solutions, process modeling, uh, which happens to be the, the topic we're going to be discussing today. Uh, and then, as you can see down down the slide, we we have multiple other uh, services that we provide in our core services portfolio. So oftentimes what happens is we do a webinar and a customer reaches out uh, and they are interested in what we are talking about, but they also are interested in knowing what other services we, we provide. So for those reasons, I wanted to uh, just give you a uh, breadth and depth of what we do um, in the Digital Connected Enterprise Business Unit. In terms of industry solutions and our domain expertise, the customers we support uh, and have worked for over the, the last two decades, um, we are spread across in banking and finance, retail and manufacturing, transportation and logistics, as well as energy and utilities, uh, and have, as a result of um, the experience we have gained over the last 20 years, have also um, customized some of those solutions and have built um, custom accelerators uh, and solution frameworks for our customers so that uh, there can be more um, a faster adoption to technology. Um, regarding our BPM and SOA practice, we are about 1,100 P-plus consultants as of 2016 and growing, including the leadership team. We are located globally within the U.S., U.K., Ireland, and India. Our consultants are certified across IBM Webster products. Um, and have a um, engage in multiple thought leadership and speaking engagements. We attend all the premier IBM conferences, um, IBM uh, Interconnect, for example, uh, and we often have our own booth uh, where we showcase and demo various products. Uh, so we invite you to also join us to, to those. Um, I think the next one is coming up in March uh, 2017, so uh, looking forward to, to seeing you all there. Um, before I dive into BlueWorks Live and the business process discovery, just want to quickly show you uh, some of our core capabilities. Uh, given the fact that we have technology partnerships with uh, IBM, MuleSoft, Software AG, um, and SAP, we have a breadth of experience um, in BPM and, and process modeling. But um, as a core capability in that arena, we have business process discovery which is this um, idea that you would capture the models uh, and then work towards the future state. Establishing a BPM center of excellence, uh, so that involves the architecture, the assessment, the advisory services, um, and then the implementation of various BPM solutions, uh, as well as business activity monitoring, uh, as well as KPI analytics. So um, today's presentation um, it, I really wanted to just touch on business process discovery uh, using IBM's premier um, SaaS offering, um, and it's a modeling-based product, but it's actually a SaaS offering in that you act. there's no complicated install, there's no heavy uh, install, it's just a product that you access online from your web browser. Uh, there is um, little or, or no training required. Uh, but before I get into the product itself, I want to describe why this product is so important uh, and why we um, uh, are very, very proud to be uh, partners with IBM uh, because of, of such a phenomenal product that they have uh, put together. And we continue to work with them on getting the latest uh, materials and access to collaterals and, and training for our customers. Um, so business as usual begs for process and operational improvement. We've all seen this picture in some form or the other. It's this idea that you have a process today, whether it's a billing or a CRM or an imaging or an ERP or a finance um, system. And um, oftentimes it's inefficient, it's ineffective, inaccurate, incomplete, inconsistent, inflexible, and invisible. And the idea why these are the symptoms of an inefficient process is because, um, frankly, sometimes there isn't a process in between. So, you know, Bob walks over to Mary and asks Mary for her help um, about how he, a particular task is supposed to be completed, uh, but then also there is all this back and forth, and it's not exactly a 
a well-sequenced process. So there's a lot of manual tasks, et cetera, et cetera. Where we would like to be is the future state, uh, which is this idea where you have essentially the same systems, but they are now, uh, there is a, an additional layer of orchestration, which we call the process layer. So if you look at the difference between this picture and this, this subsequent picture, you actually see that there is a process-based layer. And that's the, that's the part that I would like to talk to you about today. Um, so how can organizations adapt to changing times and customer needs? Uh, in this era of um, IT and business evolving, we've seen that from the 80s, we, we, we had the era of the big mainframe computers to coming into the 90s where you had a, a, de a PC or a desktop at your um, on your desk, moving into a, a newer generation of, of, of time where now you're using um, mobile devices, iPads, electronics, your wearables, your smart watches. Uh, so the customer is actually looking to do more uh, and the times are changing. So in order to be able to adapt to those changes, you need um, to understand that change in itself is inevitable and in fact, it's not just a political slogan for us in business and technology, it's day-to-day -day reality. So understanding your business process is actually fundamental to make change, uh, whether implicit or explicit, your organization runs on processes, uh, but oftentimes because we work in silos, as um, you know, it's not always easy or effective to make the change. Uh, even if you actually have built-in initiatives to go ahead and make the change, you don't know where best uh, to apply those, those investments or those funds. Uh, and that's why business process um, discovery is so important. So the first step is to actually know what you have in place, uh, or what we like to call the current state or as-is process. And you do that by um, an activity called business process mapping. But, um, and the idea is you capture your current state and then work towards your future state. So process mapping helps organizations define workflows, clarifies their roles, helps with staff orientation, um, and analyze the various human tasks, system tasks, um, uh, the business rules that are involved, and the potential decoupling, which is also something we'll touch on a little bit later. So uh, why IBM's Blue Work 5 product? This is a great product. Um, I've been in the industry for 15, 16 years. I've, I've, I've used all the various different products that have come before this product. And um, what's different about IBM BlueWorks Live than, say, another product is that uh, you actually get to engage the business users. And it's remarkable uh, a feeling to see uh, the excitement in a, in a business subject matter expert's face when they feel they are part of a bigger picture and they actually can contribute to improving a process and making real change come to life in, in their organizational functions day to day. So um, IBM BlueWorks Live is a simple cloud-based process and a decision modeling environment. So this is sort of um, a little picture of what uh, it looks like, but I'll, I'll show you exactly uh, in a few minutes the actual product itself. So you can capture the process, collaborate across teams, as well as analyze and improve the business operations. Um, so why is it important to not just model the process, but foster collaboration and modeling in, within your teams? So the, you know, business users at the end of the day and the business subject matter experts, they know how best, um, they know uh, intricately how the process works best today, what are some of the challenges, and where there's potential room for improvement. Um, but unfortunately, because I, as I mentioned earlier, the silos that we tend to work in, unfortunately, sometimes um, create blind spots. And so therefore, um, one of the best ways to fix a process is to, in fact, expose it. So by engaging the business users using IBM BlueWorks Live, uh, you are, in, a, in fact, bringing forward various different sub-processes and different processes in different departments. Uh, and then you can look at it at a high level and say, okay, here's where uh, the ch most change is needed. Okay, so uh, business, BlueWorks Live gets business users excited about process improvement 
uh, by engaging them directly in the information capture analysis and proposed improvement. So when you take ideas from the people on the floor um, they and they feel part of a, a larger picture, they are very excited about um, being a part of that change process. Uh, let's see here. One second. I just want to make sure. Right. Okay. Just uh, some fun factoids. Um, BlueWorks Live today uh, has surpassed 50,000 users, uh, over 1,000 customers, and over a million processes in the repository. So that's a phenomenal rate of growth. Uh, and many customers come, come to us, uh, Kelton Tech, to actually help them with their business process modeling and, and discovery initiatives. Um, five reasons why uh, we feel customers love BlueWorks 5. It's easy and intuitive to use. It happens to be the single source of truth for all process models. There is team collaboration built in. And it, uh, you can easily add details to document and analyze process models, um, as well as a new feature which is, uh, relates to the governance and the automation of certain reviews, etc. Um, sometimes people come to the table and they say, well, why do I really need BlueWorks Live? Is this really uh, something that can help my organization? And so I like to talk a little bit about why, why I sort of compare and contrast. So number one, BlueWorks Live is BPM 2.0 compliant. And um, as many of you might be aware, that happens to be one of the uh, standards, the official standards for um, putting together a business process, activities, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you have um, simple documentation tools uh, <clears throat> can be unstructured, and in terms of information model notation, when you have a product that actually does uh, the compliance features for you, and you don't have to worry so much about um, how you should draw the picture as opposed to really what the picture ought to look like, uh, that's a big relief. So BlueWorks Live lets you toggle between detailed and high-level views of sub-processes, drawing, and hyperlinks as well. Um, let's see. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about what kinds of users um, can, can be part of the BlueWorks Live modeling effort. So there are three different types of categories. One is an editor. This is a person that would typically create, edit, uh, create and basically edit um, the process models. Then you have contributors. Typically these are you know, business subject matter experts that maybe don't need the ability to actually edit the process but can contribute to the process by adding comments, etc. cetera. Uh, let's say you know, the modeler actually identifies a particular process or activity as being is taking two hours, uh, but then the subject matter thinks it actually takes longer because of the lead time involved, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the role that the contributor can play. And the viewer, um, you know, last but not least, has the ability to look at the process um, and view published models and, and the process. And so, um, and in addition to having, you know, as I mentioned, this is a cloud-based product, uh, but IBM has gone as far as also making this uh, very relevant to customers who perhaps are a little bit uh, sensitive about sharing their products and their data in the cloud. So now we have uh, a remarkable feature in this product which allows um, customers to actually, you know, place their repositories in the cloud, in a private cloud. So any security concerns or anything of that are eliminated by that. So talk to us more um, about this. It, every customer varies, um, and so some organizations are smaller, medium, they're larger organizations. Talk to us a little bit more, and we would love to talk to you about specific pricing options uh, as well. Moving on, um, quickly I wanted to show you the larger picture of when you go through a process and you make a process improvement. Um, that's really the first step, is to discover and document. So essentially, that's your planning phase. The second step is where you actually realize uh, the advantages or the changes that are needed, which we call process realization. That's done in the implementation phase. And last but not least is where now that the process is in the system, it's running, 
Uh, how do you monitor and analyze um, all that data? How do you improve it going forward? So typically there's a 90-day average cycle to go from step one to three, but that of course ranges uh, based on customers' individual requirements. Here are some key BlueWorks Live resources. Um, and Kelton Tech has a very flexible staffing and engagement model, uh, and we are willing to work with you based on your needs to do a current state assessment uh, and to come up with pain points to help define and refine the process for the future state. Uh, and now, without further ado, I just, I know um, last few minutes, I just want to quickly also dive into the actual product. So as you can see, I'm logging in into the actual product. Um, it's a, a cloud-based product. And so I log into BlueWorks Live. It's very easy to register for it. You can register within minutes. And I'll take you to the training space, or excuse me, the this is sort of what happens, the, the default view, which can be customized when you go in. But um, in a nutshell, the idea is you go into a space which contains your processes. Uh, and in here, you can take a look at what processes you can actually define. Um, so for example, if I, if I wanted to actually take a look at um, this getting started process, there are three different views. There is a discovery map, which is the equivalent of um, you know, putting sticky notes on a blackboard and, and moving things around. But the benefit of BlueWorks Live is that you can actually do it live. Uh, you can move things around. And so by defining milestones, uh, such as, in this case, submit work order, deliver services, miles, uh, make a payment, these are all different milestones. And these are the activities right beneath it. So. Under deliver services, I know that I have to perform the services and acknowledge receipt of the services. But let's say I decided the course of my process modeling that I actually want this activity to be part of the make a payment milestone. I can uh, very easily just move that activity, and as you can see, everything moves. It's quick and it's very um, it's a live process. I can invite users, business users, to this by clicking on the invite new users. And as I make changes, they can see the same changes taking place in their screen. So th this is what that, th that first view is, which is the discovery map. Here's where you would capture your current state uh, and then work towards your future state. The second view is the process diagram. Any changes you define in the first view, the discovery map, will automatically result in the, the building of a BPMN 2.0 compliant process model. So um, it's really nice to actually not have to uh, worry about being compliant with a particular process because it's so easy to actually look at a well-compliant, well-built process. Here I have my swim lanes, um, and if I wanted to, I can put activities within a process, um, and I can ex I can expand the process. I could define activities and decisions within that. So as you can see, it, it gives you a lot of uh, empowerment in terms of how you can define um, and optimize your, your business process. And the final view is the documentation view, which is this idea that um, when, when I am defining any attributes for a particular activity, a business activity, so for example, in this case, submit work order, I can define certain elements here um, in the details tab. I can define problems and pain points, such as there are too many errors in the workflow or it's too slow to complete. Um, I can attach any policies, any documentation, uh, any do and documents, in fact, and any comments. Uh, and I also have a SIPOC-based model for those of us familiar with uh, process improvement and re-engineering. You know, so suppliers, inputs, outputs, customers, value add, what's the cost, what's the cycle time, et cetera, et cetera. And after I have, I'm done doing this, um, I don't actually have to now, you know, toggle and then go to a Word document and write 150 pages of documentation. I can literally just toggle to the documentation view, and all this information that I defined uh, will be um, also, it'll be rolled up in one nice uh, organized report. So th those are the three main views, and that's what I wanted to quickly touch base on. The reason I, I quickly 
uh, talked about actually getting in the product. It's, it's, sometimes it's more exciting to see the product than just go through some pretty slides. So I know we're getting close to the, clo uh, the end of the webinar, but um, hopefully this gives you some insight and I would love to be able to talk to you more about any of your business process improvement initiatives, talk to us and would be happy to help. So before I hand over back to the moderator, I would just like to thank everybody for their time today and also let you know that there is a, another webinar on December 8th, um, the API strategy. Uh, and with that, um, thank you very much, everybody, for your time. And uh, Vikas, back to you. Thank you, Praveen. It was uh, really helpful for us uh, understanding the uh, concept. And uh, there are a couple of questions which uh, I got from the audience today. Uh, someone wants to understand how Blueworks Live will be different from a product like Microsoft Visual. Oh, that's a great question. So um, the difference between a product like Microsoft Visual and Blueworks Live is Blueworks Live uh, focuses on not just developing the process model but engaging the business users. So oftentimes you, how would if you think about how you would document a process in Microsoft Visual, you document the process, then you would email it to somebody else. Sharon emails it to Mary, Mary to Bob, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and then eventually, there's no really, there's no a great tracking mechanism. You have these multiple tabs. There's no way to look at a process in a nested level, uh, and it gets very cumbersome and complicated. And there really isn't a single source of truth. So where BlueWorks Live has a competitive advantage is that it's very lightweight and um, Everybody is actually involved in building and optimizing the process. So uh, that's the main difference. Um, I mean, there are tons of other features, uh, but that's, that's one. Uh, you can actually import Visios into BlueWorks Live. So if you have a bunch of Visios sitting around that you'd like to optimize, uh, you can import them into BlueWorks Live. So that's a strength. Uh, but that's really the key thing, is that you're not interpreting uh, the business model, you're actually engaging the business user and fostering collaboration, which is um, which is critical to getting the best out of that session. Any other questions? All right, all right. Uh, we have one more question. Uh, the we want to understand if we can integrate systems with BlueWorks Live. Ah, great question. So um, there is no um, way to actually integrate a system with BlueWorks Live, uh, but that would uh, the integration comes at um, the next level um, in the picture I showed earlier, which is the IBM VPN, which is the implementation layer. So in BlueWorks Live, you document the process, and then implementation comes uh, at the second level. So in IBM VPN, which by the way has a um, uh, it has the ability to import process models from BlueWorks Live, creating an easier handoff to, to IT from business. Uh, it's at that stage where you can integrate with various systems, uh, ERP, financial billing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. okay. Any other questions? Uh, yes, we have one final question coming in. Uh, and uh, audience, if, if, you're, if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask or uh, drop in a message on the uh, right hand side widget, the chat box. Uh, we have something coming in from where we ask, BlueWorks Live, how is BlueWorks Live different from IBM BPM Process Manager? Okay, so IBM BPM Process Manager is the product that, um, where the workflow automation uh, actually takes place. You can build human activities and system activities uh, it's the next level um, further up into the development. That's where the integration developers do their development, the coding, um, et cetera, et cetera. And BlueWorks Live is the product where you model the business process. So you see, you don't want to go straight into um, a level of coding and development until you actually know what you want to change, what you want to automate. And so at, at Kelton Tech, we have developed custom solutions and uh, frameworks where we can go to a customer site or do a workshop and quickly figure out uh, how to optimize a particular process. And at the end of the day, you know, our job is to empower business management to enable them to make decisions. So do they want to speed up a process or automate a process or get a pro product faster to market? 
whatever uh, initiative it is that they're looking to invest in to get those results, um, the business process modeling and discovery effort is supposed to shed light. Uh, and just one final comment, uh, business process management, modeling, and improvement is an ongoing journey. A process defined today and optimized today and needs to be continuously refined, which is one of the reasons why we at Kelton Tech and at IBM uh, uh, tend to suggest the notion of developing a, a um, center of excellence so that you have continued investments uh, in that uh, improvement process. Thank you for those questions. Well, uh, well, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll hold on for the next couple of seconds. If, if you have any other questions, we can look into it, uh, else we can end up the session for today. Audience, any questions for Praveen? If there are no other questions, um, or if you think of questions later on, you feel free to actually email them and then uh, we can also take a look at um, whatever questions you might have and follow up with you. But thank you again, everybody, for your time today. And Vikas, thank you very much for moderating an excellent um, session for us today. Thank you very much, Praveen. And uh, audience, as uh, Praveen uh, discussed, we have one more webinar coming up on December 8th for API strategy. Uh, you know, uh, we would be uh, glad to have you uh, even on this webinar as well. Uh, uh, and uh, as uh, Praveen said, uh, if, you, if you have any questions, you can just drop an email to us and we'll be happy to answer and uh, uh, get connected with you guys. So thank you very much and have a good day, guys. Thank you.